Officer Dab is asking, am I able to download text formats and use them? Now, I'm not sure if you meant downloading fonts from Clipchamp or taking fonts that you already have and load them into Clipchamp or if you're talking about creating your own fonts. So I'm going to go ahead and answer all of them at once. We'll start with the first, which is having the ability to locate the fonts on your own computer. Now, if you go into your computer, you go into the Windows folder, and then from there you go into fonts. Pretty simple, right? So your C drive. They don't have a listing of all the fonts that you have available, that you have the ability to load custom fonts into Clipchamp, but only if you have a business or a platinum subscription. And by the way, you can get a free one month subscription to platinum with the coupon code below if you want to try it out. We're going to go into a new option they have that's called Brand Kit. So once we go in here, we actually have the ability to load a font. So what we're going to do is we're going to load our own font. So we're going to go ahead and go and click where it says add a font. We're going to have a drop down, and now we have to upload a font. It's going to select there and now what you can do is go into your Windows folder and find the font you want. Now I just downloaded a font that looks like rock. There it is, rock on. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to drag it in. I'll make it look so you can see it a little bit better. Here we go. We're just going to drag it and just drop it right on there. And there it is. It's going to go ahead. I have the correct font and the license. Yes, I do because I paid for it and we're going to add it to the brand kit. OK, and there is my font. So now if I go under text here and let's say I want to do just a text here in the middle. There we go. And then if I want to change that, I go where it says text, go under the drop down here and I go and go into my own brand font here. And there's my font and uh, we can go ahead and use it. And there it is. So yes, you can load your own font nice and quick. The other thing you can do uh, is you can actually create a font in PowerPoint and you can just go ahead and save it as a picture. And then from there, we're just gonna load it to Clipchamp. I'm gonna hit the plus button here. I'm gonna take your font and then we're just gonna drag it right in. Now what we've done is we're basically saving it as an image. So you're not gonna use it in the font location, but we can just go ahead and just drag it onto your timeline. And there's your font. So yes, there's a couple different ways you can do fonts into Clipchamp that way. Again, PowerPoint or directly loading a font using the brand kit for a paid membership.